I couldn't find this, solu this solution to change the opacity myself and it took me a long time so I decided to make this video to show you two different ways which I think are a good way to change the opacity of your object in Cinema 4D. Okay, so um, the first one that is, uh, I guess is used more often is the render tag and then you change the visibility. So to do that, we go to the render tags and you click on display. There in display, you can select, um, you can click on the tag and then go to visibility and give it a check so that it's turned on. And from then you can uh, animate the visibility. So when clicking um, on the circle in front of it, the red dot, you create the first frame. So then let's say it goes to 0%. Keyframe it again, and then over here it goes to a hundred percent again, and keyframe it. So when I play this, you see that the moment it's at zero, that's the only moment that it actually disappears in your um, in your work um, view. So that it it works all right, but the downside I think is that you can't really uh, you can't really see what the transparency is doing in the meantime. Uh, and also it takes a bit longer to render. So the solution that I re that I personally prefer is the one where you uh, animate an, an alpha on a material. So to do that, first you put a material on your object, click on that material right next to the object, and then double click, and then below it will show up. And then you first go to the basic settings, and in there you click on alpha. So you get the extra option of editing and animating the alpha. So we go to this alpha channel over here, and over there we first have to create a color. So it it just it just it, you just have to uh, vary between black and white. So white color means that your object is going to be 100% visible, and the, if you turn it black, that means it's going to be invisible. So we click on the color, and then we get this uh, this window, and over here you already see the difference in the cube if I go from black to white. So first we're gonna start with visible over here and then later it will turn invisible. So if I play this now you see that it fades slowly and this this way it also takes um, takes less time to render in the end so it makes it less heavy for your scene. It also depends on what computer you're using I guess but my computer isn't that fast so I prefer this one. Alright, um, yeah, I hope that that helped you guys and uh, good luck. Bye bye.